In this video, we're taking a look at Scapple, the mind mapping software from the makers of Scrivener. It's supposed to help you create mind maps and integrate with Scrivener. I'll show you how it works. Coming right up. What's up, guys? This is Michael Aran with Author Level Up, giving you the tools and strategies for writing faster and reaching readers with your stories. When you're writing, sometimes you just need to do a good old mind map. Whether it's to untangle a plot problem in your novel, to outline your novel, or to organize the content for your nonfiction book, we all find ourselves in need of a mind map every now and again. You can, of course, still use pen and paper, and, and that's a good technique, but there are a number of mind mapping programs out there to help you go digital with your thinking. One of these is Scapple from Literature and Latte, the makers behind Scrivener. I'm going to jump into Scapple and show you the ins and outs so that you can determine if it's for you. We are here inside Scapple, which is the mind mapping software that you can certainly use as a companion to Scrivener. So think about Scapple as a mind map. So if you had a, a notebook and you were just simply drawing out different ideas and doing free associations with them, this is exactly what Scapple will help you do, but just in digital format. So basically the way it works is you start by double clicking anywhere to create a note. And let's just say I'm going to write my next book about dinosaurs. I just saw an ad for Jurassic Park Fallen Kingdom. So um, start with dinosaurs. And that's my first note. Now I can customize this in a number of ways. What I can do is I can apply a note style. So if I want to change the bubble to a blue bubble, I can change it to a green bubble. I can change it to a pink bubble. You get the picture, right? And so I want to think about different types of dinosaurs. So I can just simply double click. And let's say I want to talk about so T-Rex and maybe, um, let's see if I'll spell this right, Ankylosaurus. So I've got two of these here. I can change the colors of those notes. And maybe we'll make those children, make those blue. And let's say I want to connect these. So what I can do is I can connect simply like that. Or if I wanted to connect them with an arrow, I could do that as well. So the arrow, I believe, will follow or the, it will point at the last bubble that you clicked. Now, there's an easier way of creating connected bubbles. So if you simply click on the bubble you want and go to Notes, New Connected Note, you could simply, it gives you some options here. So you could do it on the left, on the right, above and below, or with an arrow. So if I want to do one on the right with an arrow, we'll just simply create a new note like that. So, and let's say I want to and we'll just say, I want to call this one a predator and new note style then we'll say, I want to call this one Forager. So that makes it pretty simple. And then if I wanted to ever zoom out, I can do that. I can make it as small or as big as I want. And you, know, you can move things around as much as you need to. It gives you a lot of different room. So, so let's say I wanted to make this look a little cleaner and I wanted to align these so that the bottom edges all came down. So see how it did that? So that's pretty cool. Another way that you can kind of make this look clean. I think the challenge that I have with Scapple is that there's a lot of clicking and sometimes you can spend a lot of time formatting your bubbles to get them to where you want them to go. And really at this point, all you can create are bubbles and shapes. Um, I would like to see a little bit more freedom in, in creating things that you want to create on this, but I think it's pretty effective if you have a situation where you need a mind map and um, you know, you're willing to spend 14, 15 bucks. I think that this is a good software to help you do it. And you can import this into Scrivener later if you wanted to. So my verdict on this app, guys, is that it's a pretty good app. It'll do what you need it to do. Um, are there better mind map and visual apps out there? Yes, absolutely. Um, but if you want something that integrates with Scrivener and that's pretty simple and easy to use, I think that Scapple uh, is something you should check out. I hope this video helped you. Do you use Scapple or will you? Sound off in the comments. Scapple retails for $14.99 and is available on Mac desktops only. 
you can grab your copy via the link below. And if this is your first time watching, I'd love to have you subscribe. Every week I publish videos just like this one with writing advice to help you write better and grow your influence with readers. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.